Hi, my name is Shanna. I'm a resident doc out in Calgary, originally from Vancouver, went to UBC, and so the videos that I make are primarily focused on helping pre-meds, answering questions that you guys have sent in about high school, what to do in high school or undergrad to prepare yourself for going to medical school. So the caveat is I really think there's many, many ways to do extracurriculars in high school, and I really don't think it matters exactly what you do, um, but hopefully these are just some inspiration ideas. I really think you should just do, you should do what you love, do what you think is a good service to the community and hopefully those are kind of a good combo that will set you up so but these are just so ideas and really guys i i think i always wanted to know what other people were doing so hopefully this helps so i'm gonna go year by year um so starting in grade eight i did jazz band so we the max number of courses you can take at a time in vancouver was eight and we are able to take nine ninth courses and tenth courses even eleventh courses if you want uh, ex extra music courses i took jazz band on the side i'm actually really bad at jazz but it was really fun and it was just really interesting and the music was really cool i did track and field i particularly did high jump and the 200 meter dash neither of which i'm good at uh in grade grade i actually started a, a charity called music outreach society <laughs> why, my, why did i feel shy talking about this uh this year towards the end um and so as the founder and the president i went uh and organized concerts of, of my friends at for example senior homes as well as um as well as um we we worked we went to a facility that served children with disabilities we worked uh we went to a shelter that served uh, women who are um, currently without a fixed address and so we did you know all sorts of things like that and that was a really fun leadership experience and um, yeah it was a very formative experience for me in high school to just learn leadership and learn all that things and it was something I was very passionate about so it's actually still actively running in Vancouver um, they still put on concerts and on a regular basis and there's opportunities to not only get involved but if you want to get involved in a leadership position I would reach out. I forget who the current president is. And so every year we kind of transfer responsibilities to a new uh, president. And um, so if you want to get involved or even eventually become president, you know, um, reach out, look up music outreach society, uh, dot com. That was totally, no, sorry, not dot com, just music outreach society and um, kind of express your interest and go from there. I was briefly in the multicultural performance team where we learned K-pop choreography actually I actually a pretty bad stage fright so I don't really know why that was I, I thought that was going to be a thing it, it conflicted with jazz band so I did quit so I do think it's important to well to get involved in some extracurriculars especially in grade eight if you're just figuring out what to do you might want to just focus on getting used to high school and then use these opportunities as opportunities to like make friends and just explore your interests that year I also competed in the regional science fair and like every good Asian kid I did piano on the side and all those like theory and history exams and you know all that good stuff. So in grade nine, basically going on from here, a lot of these are just continuation of the same activities. In grade nine, I can this is the year I really put a lot of effort into growing music outreach society, organizing lots of events, learning leadership and organization. I was a bit at the mess at the beginning, but again, stuff that set me up well. I continued to do jazz band after school. It was the pianist and jazz band, well, the pianist and jazz band, and I did percussion actually, like the triangle and whatnot. It takes skill to do the triangle, guys. Um, I also did concert choir as my 10th course after school and I played on, I started ice hockey for the first time. I never played ice hockey in my life uh, and luckily there's an opportunity in my school to play hockey as kind of a late, considered late in life and I loved it and I fell in love with the sport. So that's when I started in grade nine and I think on the side to supplement that, I also uh, took skating lessons so I could improve that and I was I think I spent a lot of time like in my backyard just like practicing my shots and stuff and so anyways that was a really cool passion that I had um then in grade 10 again music outreach society uh I was continuing ice hockey and had finally gotten my bearings again it was really fun to spend time with um, friends playing the sport and the sense of competitiveness and I really encourage like all uh, everyone all students that identify as female to like you know we're not usually allowed to be uh, let out a, I want to call it aggressive, but say like the aggressive side, our bold side, our brave side, uh, where you talk to me kind of, you know, more quiet and reserved. And so I really felt like that really was a very empowering um, moment as a female. So I really, I really, really try to encourage people to pursue ice hockey if that is an opportunity. Uh, so here on grade 10, I participated in music outreach. I continued to play ice hockey. I got involved in a program called Junior Achievement, 
It was held at my local community center and it's basically an entrepreneurship program. I was in the marketing team and you basically, with a bunch of other students ranging from grade 10 to 12, you to form you you find a product and you actually go and sell it and you learn the whole process of like you're starting a company what's your vision what's your product what's your product what's what's the pros and cons of selling this what's your marketing strategy what's your uh i can't remember the other stuff but like lots of other stuff and it's like a fun experience you meet like i love that i got to meet people from other high schools so you know from david templeton and from i think I don't remember everyone people came from all over to participate so it was like quite fun and um just kind of something a little bit different uh as a grade 10 i was very shy compared to the grade 12s for some reason that's actually a really small age gap uh now that i'm so old um but at the time i felt like grade 12s were so unapproachable and so i remember being very quiet and reserved um i think it's a good thing to put yourself in those spaces where you have to push yourself um but yeah so if you experience that super normal I also started a teen writing program at my local library. This was the year I participated in Writing 12, did lots of like poetry writing and things with my class. And so I wanted to like experience that with other students and I love going to the library. So in the summer between grade 10 and 11, I participated in a program called Chad Valley. Um, it's, it has a bit of a uh, mix on focusing, I think it was like science, entrepreneurship, leadership maybe. And one of the key projects that we do in a group of students is you you do an entrepreneur project and my group did one on eco-friendly transportation and so yeah that was a really fun experience i met one of my best friends there um that we're still like friends now and um the other gist of that was um it really kind of humbles you um as my friends is you, you you start to think you're like one of these you start to feel like oh like i'm doing really well in my program you start to feel like you're sorry in your high school you're like doing really well you're one of these like prominent leaders in your school and then you go there and everyone's a leader and then there was some there was i remember there's someone who had started his own charity like a, a big like this big like very sick like well like achieving uh charity someone had started his own company and he was only in grade 12 or 11 um there's people who had done like you know scientific research they had shadow doctors they felt like they just had achieved so much in life and it was a lot to it was really helpful to be humbled and just be inspired by what people were doing and after Shad Valley, I did a research internship that was related to Shad Valley. And that's how I got started in my passion for medical research. And yeah, like it really sparked my desire for that. Um, I don't really know how to tell you to go about finding that. That was just pure luck, to be honest. And I feel very lucky to approach that. I thought that was really uh, great to get involved in. It taught me like just, it was just like, you know, pursuing like learning, almost like pursuing a full time job. So I went to a summer. You have to show up at a certain time, be your desk, and you have all these responsibilities. And you go to weekly meetings to give updates to the rest of your team. You learn to get along with all these adults who are so much older than you, and um, you know, take feedback. While I just thought there's there was so much learning that I uh, did starting then and from the years subsequent to that. When I was in grade eleven, again, I continued music outreach society. I did ice hockey. I think this was the year I was alternate captain, so I took on a leadership role then. I published poetry again. I tutored math uh, to one of the grade eights. And I, um, this year is actually a year I took the SATs. Funnily enough, I had this dream that I thought I was gonna go down to the American universities. Uh, as I mentioned in some of my videos, the limitation for me is I couldn't afford to do that, even though uh, they offered me like a full ride. I couldn't afford the dorm fees and all the other you know fees in American dollars. I don't regret not choosing that, but I thought the experience of studying for the SATs was very helpful. It was something that with the SATs, I was really pushing myself to like study at a really like intense level. So it trained a level of focus in me, a like ability to self-study really well. And I think the in particular the critical reading, I think it's called reading comp or critical reading section really helps set me up for the MCAT because there's a section that's very similar to that. So that's kind of like an optional do it or do or not do it. It's not particularly useful if you go to university in Canada. So just the caveat, it's, it's not particularly useful. It's just like, I'm trying to justify the fact I did it. Um, and then in grade 12, again, Music Outreach Society, ice hockey. I also played. So every season I did a sport uh, that year. In the fall, I did swim team, competed in the swim team. And then in the winter, I did ice hockey. And then in the spring, I did play on the softball team. Super fun. Uh, swim team not so much fun because you don't actually get to like hang out and talk to people because you're like in the water uh whereas ice hockey and definitely softball is a very social sport like it's with all the girls that were my friends and we would you know get to chat when you're in the dugout and like you get to go to these different schools and it's kind of like a fun adventure 
I was a piano teacher this year. I taught two students, I believe, one that was like very young and one that was older. Um, and I felt like I really invested a lot of time into trying to make their experience learning um, like fun and interesting and try to be, you know, really exercise patience. And so that was really fun. And I believe in the winter break, I had a job in a tutoring center. I think I'm missing some extracurriculars to be honest, but these are the main ones that I come up to. So yeah, those were all the extracurriculars that I did year by year. By no means is this a guideline. You should do what you do. I don't, I don't have a perfect formula. Um, just because you do this doesn't mean like, <laughs> doesn't mean like you do this X, Y, Z and you go to medical school. Um, so, uh, and I think I was very privileged. I recognize that for like lots and lots of other kids, there are many other responsibilities like home responsibilities, helping out um, parents with business, whether or not that's, you know, working on your own to, you know, save up money for various things. So I definitely acknowledge that I come from a place of privilege and things. So hopefully I hope this, hope this video was helpful. Subscribe and like if you like some of these videos. Uh, feel free to leave comments of any other um, things you want me to answer. Okay, bye!